Hi guys, welcome to another video uh, tutorial of our tutorial series. I'm Daniel, CEO and co-founder of Writer's End. So in today's videos, um, I'll be sharing with you a bit the step-by-step -step guide to uh, how you can use our plagiarism checker tool. Right. Um, the plagiarism checker tool is uh, very self-explanatory. Uh, basically, it's a tool set that helps you detect uh, duplicate content um, and particularly duplicate content on the web. So there's a few things regarding the way we build the tools. Right. The first thing is um, our tool specifically looking only for content that is indexed on Google. So the way we do it is that when you put up a content with on a website, um, on our tool, we will actually do these things where we scan Google database and look for all of the contents around the webs uh, and see if that content is being copied anywhere only based on that database. We do not have um, access to Google data, uh, Google Scholar database as well as all the other sort of uh, internet uh, library because to us, um, it, does, it doesn't really add on. Add, um, values to the workflow in which we are trying to build for our users. Our users, uh, particularly, we are trying to only solve the problems of copy content that is indexed on Google because that is the things that affect them most in terms of when they try to rank for certain content. So that is the reason why we only focus on trying to look for content that is indexed on Google. Of course, as you um, go through um, the, the testing uh, of, of our tool, you'll probably sometimes see some exceptional cases, but this very rare where it's actually a, um, sort of like a bug from Google search um, database where it is uh, it's set as indexed but is actually not. Or it is not indexed but it's actually show up on Google as indexed. So sometimes when results like that happen, our tool will not be able to detect as 100%, but this is a very rare exception case. So uh, typically it probably happened one out of a thousand times you will check things. So that is that. So now that, you, now that we get done the purpose of the tool as well as the mechanism behind the way we build the tool. Uh, let's go into the step-by-step -step guide of the tool. All right, so as you can see here on the screen, I'm gonna make myself a bit bigger. Um, so as you can see here on the screen, um, this is the first page of Plagiarism Checker Tool. Uh, what you could do is when you start with any project, you could just simply click on, um, click on create new project, uh, set a title, let's say um, we just keep with our uh, example that we've been using for a while. We have nutrition plan here. You can either import content directly from a file you have. So for example, if I already have a files over here, um, that is the content which I use it from somewhere, copy from the webs. Um, I just simply copy from this and paste it here. Right? Um, there's, a, there's a maximum input of, depending on your plan, right? And But you will have a maximum input uh, text. Uh, and also minimum length. So minimum length is about 20 words uh, and the maximum is about 5,000 words, right? Um, uh, and the second way is you could actually import from file. And right now we only support TXT file, uh, but in future we'll actually be, in, be able to integrate with different file forms like docx or docs um, and, and, and whatnot, right? But once that is, you can just browse files and get that, um, import that into the, the, the you know, in, into our tool. And once you're done with this, you just simply click add and our tool will start doing their scanning. So the way we do this is that we'll now access into Google database um, and look for cross-check this content to um, all of the the other web page that is on Google database so in, so that we, we will be able to actually check for any copy content that appear here. It will take a bit of time. So as you can see here, the results just turn out. So this is exactly the source in which I use. We also show you so the, the two screens that appear, right? One is on the left side, which is where you place your your content. And the other side, this is where you will show you all the plagiarized uh, result. So over here, as you can see, this is a 22 matches from six sources. So these are 22 are the 22 sentence. So the way we build it is that we track by sentence basis. We'll look for, we take from, let's say this is from beginning to the end, that's one sentence. This is one sentence, this is one sentence. So we'll look, we break the, the whole context down into sentence basis and compare each sentence to the whole Google database and look for content that is similar. And as you can see here, um, some sentences, like for example, fruits and vegetable, it was actually served as um, 
it's 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 what's reserved as uh, one of the headings so that's why our tool doesn't really detect that um into the tools uh, and as you can see here um you can see that uh each, if you click on each of the sentence you will be able to see how it appear into the source in which i copy so 100 percent copy this sentence 100 percent copy um 100 percent copy and also you will see how it was used in the overall content right um, as you can see here the 92 percent here is actually based on several uh, aspects right um, as you can see this is uh, the the score reflects your content overall plagiarism state click on each sentence to view individualized score and sources so this is the overall scoring of your content uh, copy content but you uh, we always recommend you to kind of just kind of play around with clicking on each sen sentences to see if it's copy and where the source would be um, next to this uh, are some of just the normal um, self-explanatory data um, how many words basis of this sentence the how amount of sentence uh, how many the uniqueness percentage so these uniques here um, essentially are the headers and headers as like you can see fruits and vegetables um, and we uh, just tend to not detect those um, so over here there's a button called exclude domain so for example if you have this many and you you know you copy from this domain let's say you compare your your own domain and you don't want it to appear on it you click on it and we actually just list down the list of domain that already appear for you to easily choose so as you can click here you apply and um, the result will be updated right okay so so you see this uh, we also saw that this sentence is uh, also being uh, copied uh, on other websites as well um, here you could there's on on this top area there's also another two options that's really cool once you can share report uh, this is linked to the report so if you already have a copy content let's say you you um, you have your freelancer uh, writer uh, wrote a piece of content and when you check on here and you see that the the, the result is um, plagiarized quite a bit you could actually share this uh, result uh, by just clicking on this share report button and share it to your freelancer so that they could actually check and see if that result is uh, correct or not right and second thing is um, export you could actually export all or just uh, click on each of these to export so once you click export we'll probably export in PDF form um, so you can see here so let's open so this is the form that comes out so all the source appear um, as well as the essential um, stuff all right so that is the two um, functions that I can leave over here and then the domain uh, very self-explanatory we also build this function in our, our content creator too as well on the last step where we'll do these things called quick check and this function called quick check will allow you to just kind of quickly check right away the content in which you just finished writing and see whether the originality of that content itself um, but you will also have a link in that where you could just click on the detail report and it will bring you to here where you could actually play around and see the detail report of that content as well so that is that for our tutorial today and hope uh, fully you enjoy it and i look forward for my other tutorial videos in future thank you very much for listening in talk to you later